are turned in here tonight. That is what they will be. EA Sports. It's in the game. Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting to step one, step two, before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hip back, immediately he's up into a foot stick or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is right over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the U.S. Well, this is exciting here, D.C., the founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed, it was the charisma, it was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's gonna look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 146 pounds, fighting out of Hillsboro, Illinois, Lover. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. Lee! You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? There's the jab, now another for good measure. Nice job there by Lee. Oh, lands a left punch there, and a lot of it's set up by good footwork. Really great footwork and setting traps so that he can land that beautiful left hand. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. And he landed the right hand there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Nice loop and punch. Get him chopped in the woods. 
chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. These guys throwing early. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Big kick lands. Left hook to the head. The combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like a basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. Whiffs on the right hand. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big ball to punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Right hand punch the clinch. Lands the knee to the body now. You don't know when that leg kicks coming. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. He can't even, he can barely stand. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. of his size there as he lands a flush knee. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Nice kick there by Lee. Right hand upstairs. Oh, collar tie. Oh, now going to the judo throw. He ends up in side control. A lot of options for him here. Yeah, he can either go ground and pump or he can chase submission. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Inside control, you got a ton of options. He goes knees on belly. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Watch these to the body. Four oh, shots for the end of round one. No telestrator for the champ tonight, but that's okay. He'll still talk you through the replays. Body kicks for days, man. I mean, body kicks for days, but I got to be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a telestrator <laughs> into this game, this may be my only version of EA UFC. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Oh, and he lands a punch. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. 
changes his stance. Back and forth we go. Look at him working. His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Good punch. Oh, nice high kick. Wow! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. That one is going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> and now he lands a combination. there. Oh. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. There's no tell on that leg kick. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Nice spinning attack there, and able to land to the body. Nice punch lands. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these guys. Check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Check it, check it, check it. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Good stick. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Beautiful leg kick throw. Oh, what a punch. He missed with that jab attempt there. That was a thud. If he lands, he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. He went high on that one. Oh! I mean, geez, Louise. Effective punch there by Lee. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. He lands with the left. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Well, 
just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Big head kick lands. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Got clipped with a right hand. Lee gets hit with a kick. How about that shin? Big body to land. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Pretty good right hand. You can't take many of those, you better check. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Lands with the right hand. Nice leg kick lands. Nice punch lands over the top. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body oh, shot. Awesome. He finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? It, try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again, and this guy, is the poster boy for that saying, because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured one. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Buck. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side underhook. This is a great position for a top fighter. Wild swing there. Good punch land. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Hands higher, hands higher. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent trying to stay upright, but man, that changed the picture of this one. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Nice. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Big leg kick land. Right hand on point. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock. Nice takedown land. Oh, and he gets the single leg takedown. Nice entry on that attempt. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, close guard now. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, You've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. 
It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to log the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Went for the inside leg kick. Big punch lands through the middle. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. He lands a big knee to the body. Hard shots landing on both sides here. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Straight right hand, no good. Great punch. You got to check these low leg kicks. He's determined to land as many leg kicks as he can in this fight. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Clipped him with the right hand there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh! Oh! Huge right hand! While well, he's up, but he is hoping for certain the finish could come at any time. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. All right, he'll engage. Oh, oh, what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right pose. Good fight here, under two to go. Nice punch there by Lee. Nice sneaky head kick. And that one certainly found the target. Head kick partially blocked. And he's looking for that left, it's not there. Big kick lands. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Final minute to go here in round four. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. 45 seconds remain in the round. Get the turn in that kick. Very 
tricky when he throws that body kick. 30 seconds now to go in the round. His opponent still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. He got hurt again. Whitey's right, very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. How about those five minutes? All right, well, that's the end of the round, and we will go right into the corner of the fighter with that brutal cut on his nose. Really, really bad here. You got to think they're going to, at the very least, call the doctor in, and if that cut gets any worse than it is now, they will have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, there's the end of the round. We'll show you some of the highlights. It must feel pretty damn good to knock a man down like that. It feels good to knock a man down, and most times you don't even feel it. It's the ones that you don't even recognize that landed hard are the ones that usually puts your opponent out. It landed right on the sweet spot, and he hurt his opponent very badly. Fifth and final round. Nice strike. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Big kick. Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. That punch, no good. Big head kick. Man, look at the size of that bruising on his body. Oh. Real quick leg kick. Head strikes. Beautiful punch. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. Big leg kick lands. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, lands flush. He's going to have to make some adjustments here moving forward. Ooh, big shot lands. protect the fighter, and I thought he did a good job of doing just that. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at one minute, 34 seconds of round number five. We're playing the winner by Buffer. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands, that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. 